The Rwanda Development Board CEO Claire Akamanzi told the Singapore private sector that Rwanda is a country full of investment opportunities and this is evidenced by the fact that the country ranks second in Africa in terms of investment facilitation. She made the remarks at a joint meeting of the Rwandan and Singapore private sector that was conducted online which was aimed at understanding the market developments and investment opportunities in Rwanda. In many ways, Rwanda is described to many people as the Singapore of Africa. Some even go to call the Rwanda Development Board the EDB of Africa. While many have reasons for connecting Rwanda and Singapore, I believe that the affiliation that many see between our two countries is because we share a lot in common. First of all, as two countries, we have very close political relationships between our two countries. Both the Prime Minister of Singapore and the President of Rwanda have exchanged, in many occasions, different ways of strengthening our bilateral cooperation. But also on a business and economic angle, the Rwanda Development Board was very much inspired, among many, by the EDB of Singapore. And so when people call Rwanda the Singapore of Africa and RDB the EDB of Africa, I believe it's just testament of the many inspirations we draw from each other. But let me also just say uh, very specifically that the government of Rwanda, just like Singapore, very much prioritize economic development and improvement of the standards of, its, of, of living of its people as a number one top priority. The CEO of RDB, Claire Kamanzi, also said that Rwanda over the last two years has been ranked by the World Bank at between 29th and 38th easiest place to do business in the world. In regards to gender parity, she said that Rwanda continues to rank among the top five when it comes to gender parity, according to the World Economic Forum, where women have been given the opportunity to participate in politics, business, and economics.